that's hilarious. Um, we've said ophthalmology is by far and away the best specialty, but how did you discover that initially? I, um, as an undergraduate, I did a lot of what would now be referred to as service learning, a lot of work in the community, um, and planned when I went to medical school to be really a, a general internist in public health was my thought with what is now kind of clearly become known as social determinants of health and such. And then um, I ended up taking an elective uh, during my third year, early in my third year, and loved it. And I wrote back to my father, and this is the most bizarre thing of ophthalmology of all things. And my father said, there's an ophthalmologist here in Cincinnati. I think you should speak to him. And that ophthalmologist was Chester Pryor. And Dr. Pryor was the first African-American ophthalmologist here in Cincinnati. And so when I came back on break, uh, Dr. Pryor graciously, he was just, he was wonderful. He was so welcoming and so supportive. Um, and so this whole crazy idea that I had, you know, who, ophthalmology, who ever heard of such? He said, yeah, no, it's a great specialty. I, I think you'd be a, a good fit for it. And, you know, he showed me and uh, it, it really, it really made me comfortable with the decision to go forward in ophthalmology. Very, very cool. He, he still shows up to all of our lectures. Yes, and he it's, does. Uh, it's great talking to him because he has such a wealth of experience and many, many years of knowledge about how the field has evolved. and even how ophthalmology being practiced in Cincinnati has changed uh, over the years. I'm someone who just went through the fellowship match process myself. And when I started ophthalmology, I wasn't set on a certain specialty. And early on, I thought I was going to do retina probably for the first year. And, uh, you know, I thought about glaucoma. I found that intellectually stimulating and then, you know, cornea and refractive and I, it's hard to go wrong, I think. Once, once you're an ophthalmologist, it's hard to go wrong. And honestly, if someone put a gun in my head and said, hey, you're, you can't do fellowship and you're going to have to practice general ophthalmology for the rest of your life, I'd say, hey, you know okay. what? I'm all right with that. That's, yeah, I, that I think I'd have, a, I'd have a good life and I'd, I'd have a great time taking care of patients and get to see a wealth of diversity and pathology. Mm-hmm.